Hi, hope you are doing well. Today I am going to take up a story from the supplementary reader in English for class 10. The title of the book is Footprints Without Feet and the title of the story is The Thief's Story. The story is written by Ruskin Bond. You must have heard his name and I am sure you must have read a lot of stories written by him. Now before I begin the story, you please open your books on page 8. Let us start the story. In this story, a young boy makes friends with Anil. Anil trusts him completely and employs him. Is the boy honest or does he betray Anil's trust? Let us go through the story and find out. I will now read an excerpt from the story. This is how it begins. I was still a thief when I met Anil and only 15. I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. Please underline the words experienced and fairly successful hand. Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25, a tall, lean fellow and he looked easygoing, kind and simple. Enough for my purpose. Here also I want you to underline the words for my purpose. I hadn't had much luck of late. Once again, please underline the words I hadn't had much luck of late and thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. You look a bit of wrestler yourself, I said. A little flattery helps in making friends. So do you, he replied, which put me off for a moment because at that time I was rather thin. Well, I said modestly, I do wrestle a bit. What is your name? Hari Singh, I lied. So, these are the words of Hari Singh. Is this his real name? No, he himself says I lied. He keeps changing his names. Now look at those phrases, sentences which I asked you to underline. Fairly successful hand. For my purpose, I hadn't had much luck of late. I took a new name every month that kept me ahead of the police and my former employers. So what do you think is the profession of this person? Who is writing the story? Who is telling us his tale? Who is this I in this story? The I in this story is the thief. And from these sentences and phrases, we do get to know that he is a thief. What does he do for his living? He steals, he robs people. This thing has become clear to us, though it is not given directly, but we can infer the meaning. What is he fairly successful hand at? He is successful at stealing and robbing people. So this part of the story is clear. We are introduced to a person and this person is a thief. He changes his name every month so that the police cannot catch him. Let us resume the story now. After that, both Anil and Hari Singh talked about wrestling. Anil walked away. Hari Singh followed him. Uh, he said to Anil, I want to work for you. To this Anil said, but I can't pay you. I must have money to be able to pay you. Hari Singh thought that over for a minute, perhaps he had misjudged the man. He once again asked, can you feed me? Anil asked, can you cook? Hari Singh lied again 
and said, I can cook. So, the understanding was that Anil would feed him and give him shelter. Anil took him to his room over the Jamuna sweet shop and told him that he could sleep on the balcony. That night, the meal that was cooked by Hari Singh must have been terrible because Anil gave it to a stray dog. Anil did not say a word. He was not unkind at all. Instead, he said he would teach him how to cook. Anil, in fact, patted his head and laughed. Hari Singh could not help smiling either. Anil also taught him to write his name and said that he would soon teach him to write whole sentences and also teach him how to add numbers. I hope this part is clear. Finally, Hari Singh has been able to reach Anil's house. He is employed there as a cook, but he does not know how to cook a meal. But Anil is very kind. He tells him, I will teach you how to cook. Let us discuss a few comprehension questions. What kind of a person was Anil? Anil was kind and simple. He was a kind and a simple person. Now, let us proceed with the story. Now, in the words of Hari Singh, because the story is written by Hari Singh and we are re reading a thief's story. Hari Singh said, I was grateful. I knew that once I could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what I could achieve. It was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day's supplies. Usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. Underline this sentence. Usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way, but he did not seem to mind. So, what is reflected through these lines? Hari Singh is cheating. Anil gives him some money to buy things for the house and he always steals. So, he was making a rupee a day. He was not honest with Hari Singh. Uh, Hari Singh was not honest with Anil, but Anil was very patient. Anil looked after him and Hari Singh was also settling down with Anil. Now, let us discuss a few questions. What does he get from Anil in return for his work? Hari Singh has been working for Anil. What does he get from Anil? He gets food and shelter and that was the understanding between the two. Next question is, how did Hari Singh make money? How did he make money? By cheating while shopping. Hari Singh was a thief. He could not help it. But through the story, we will find that because Anil was so kind to him that Hari Singh's attitude towards life started to change. What happens next? Is Hari Singh tempted to do worse? Let us read the story. Anil was indeed the most trusting person that Hari had ever met and that is why Hari was finding it so difficult to rob him. Hari even said, it is easy to rob a greedy man, but it is difficult to rob a careless man. Sometimes he does not even notice he has been robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work. So, these are the words of Hari Singh. He says, if you rob a greedy man, it is easy, but it is very difficult to rob a careless man and Anil was very careless with his money. He never doubted Hari Singh. 
he always trusted Hari Singh. This is what Hari Singh was appreciating, was realizing. Therefore, he says that if you rob a careless, careless person, there is no pleasure in it. Anil made money by fits and starts. What do you think was the profession of Anil? Okay, we will come to know. Let us go ahead with the story. He would borrow one week, lend the next week. He kept worrying about his next check. But as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. Anil was a writer. Therefore, he did not have a regular salary. He would get the money as and when his articles or his writings were accepted by the publishers. He wrote for magazines. Hari thought that it was a strange way of make a strange way to make a living. One evening, he came home with a small bundle of notes. Who came home? Anil. As he had just sold a book to a publisher and Anil was very happy. At night, he kept the money under the mattress and Hari Singh was observing everything. What do you think Hari Singh will do now? Let us go ahead with the story. By now, Hari had been working for Anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping, he had not done anything in his line of work. In his line of work, please underline these words. What is his line of work? His line of work is stealing, but it has been a month. He has not stolen anything. He has not robbed anyone. Okay, he was doing those little cheating, keeping a rupee a day for himself. Let us move on. He had every opportunity for doing so. Anil had given him a key to the door, but still he did not steal anything. Hari thought to himself that it was now time to make the money because he had seen the bundle of notes. Anil was asleep. He thought that if he took the money, he could catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Hari slid his hand under the mattress and took the money. Anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side towards Hari. Hari was taken aback and quickly crawled out of the room. When he was on the road, he began to run. He was afraid that Anil might come after him, he might get caught, therefore he started running. He counted the money after some time, 600 rupees in 50s, that was a lot of money for Hari. Even that was a lot of money for Anil, that was his livelihood. Hari thought that he could live lavishly for a week or two. He rushed to the station to catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. Now, let us discuss a few questions before we proceed with the story. Do you think Hari Singh felt any remorse or regret about his actions? Was there any regret? Uh, so far, we do not see any regret. Or was he overjoyed with the money that he had taken away from Anil? Was he overjoyed? Yes, he was very happy because he says that he could live lavishly for one or two weeks. Let me read out the relevant excerpt for you now. Now, these are the words of Hari Singh. When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office, but dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train still had to pick up speed and I should have been able to jump into one of the carriages, but I hesitated. For some reason, 
I can't explain. I lost the chance to get away. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no friends, believing that friends were more trouble than help. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. So let's go back to the question which I had asked you before I read the excerpt. Do you think Hari Singh felt any remorse or regret about his actions? Yes, there was a little regret. He could catch the train, he could run and board the train, but he stops. He does not board the train. That means something was stopping him from inside. Was he overjoyed with the money? Initially he was, but later on he was not really very happy. He was now thinking where to go, where to live where to stay. He had no friends and he only knew Anil. How could he go back to Anil? Because he has robbed him in his sleep. So there was a slight regret in his thinking, in his words. Let us get back to the story. Hari started going towards the bazaar and thought to himself, in my short career as a thief, I had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. The greedy man showed fear, the rich man showed anger, the poor man showed acceptance. But I knew that Anil's face when he discovered the theft would show only a touch of sadness, not for the loss of money, but for the loss of trust. How beautifully Hari Singh has described Anil's feelings. That means he has started understanding Anil. Anil is a kind, simple person. He will not feel bad for the loss of money, but he will feel bad for the loss of trust. Anil trusted Hari Singh. He used to leave everything open for Anil to work about in his house. These lines show that there was a change in Hari Singh's attitude towards life. So the change has started happening in Hari Singh's life. Hari clearly had nowhere to go to. By that time he had also, it had also started raining. The notes were also becoming damp from the rain. All of it Anil's money. That was the feeling. If Hari had not run away with it in the morning, Anil would have probably given him two or three rupees to go to the cinema. Hari Singh thought to himself, I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar or to learn to write whole sentences anymore. I had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft. Whole sentences I knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal, but sometimes just as simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and respected man was something else. I should go back to Anil. I told myself if only to learn to read and write. So this is the realization that Hari has got. He felt that stealing will take him nowhere. He will remain the same person running away from place to place. He realized that if he learned to read and write, his life would change. So he decided to go back to Anil. He hurried back to the room feeling very nervous for it is much easier to steal something than to return it. Undetected, he opened the door quietly then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight Anil was still asleep. He slipped the notes under the mattress. In the words of Hari Singh, 
The next morning, Anil had already made the tea. He stretched out his hand towards me. There was a 50 rupee note between his fingers. My heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. I made some money yesterday, he explained. Now you will be paid regularly. My spirits rose, but when I took the note, I saw it was still wet from the night's rain. Today we will start writing sentences, he said. So can you see how simple and how kind Anil is? I think we have all gathered this much that Anil has understood. Anil knew all along that during the night Hari Singh had stolen the money, he ran away because in the morning he found all that all the notes were wet. Anil knew all of this, but he did not show it. He was normal with Hari Singh. Neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything that gave confidence to Hari. And he also told Hari that today they will start writing sentences. Hari smiled at Anil in the most appealing way and this smile was a genuine smile as compared to the smile which he had given in the beginning when they had met after the wrestling match. So look at the difference and the smile came by itself. At that time smile was not natural but this time the smile was natural without any effort. Let us discuss the questions now. How does the thief think Anil will react to the theft? According to Hari, Anil would be sad not because the loss of money but because of the loss of trust he had in Hari. So Hari was worried that this trust should not be lost. Now the next question is what does he say about the different reactions of people when they are robbed? Hari's experience as a thief had made him aware of differences in reactions of people when they are robbed. According to him, a greedy man shows fear, the rich anger and a poor man acceptance. Next question, does Anil realize that he has been robbed? What do you think? Yes, Anil realized that he has been robbed as he gave a 50 rupee note to Hari which was still damp due to the night's rain. Anil was a very creative person. He used to observe the world around him very minutely. Therefore, he was a writer. So looking at those wet notes, he was able to understand that Hari Singh had tried to steal the money, but Hari Singh has come back. So that gave hope to Anil that Hari Singh is now going to change. He is going to be a different person altogether. What are Hari Singh's reactions to the prospect of receiving an education? He was very excited. He wanted to learn more. He has started learning words. He has started reading and now he wanted to learn how to write complete sentences. So he said that writing complete sentences, being an educated person is better than being a thief. Hari was very happy and grateful when he learned to write his name. He was very excited when Anil promised to teach him to write whole sentences as well. He knew that being an educated man will lead to his ambitions, abilities and he could achieve anything. But when he left Anil's house, he realized that stealing was simply a crime to indulge himself. Being educated, on the other hand, was an entirely different thing. He knew the respect, reputation and possibilities that would come to him once he was educated. And so his urge to receive an education compelled him to return to Anil. With this, we have come to the end of this lesson. 
But before I conclude, uh, I would like to ask you one more question. Do you think people like Anil and Hari Singh are found only in fiction or are there such people in real life? This is an open ended question. You observe life around you and you give examples from your life and write a paragraph about it. You can share your paragraph with us. We would love to get back to you. Happy learning. Thank you so much for being with us.